Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in this video, I'd like to demonstrate a workaround for a somewhat quirky issue that I discovered in Inventor recently, where editing a shrink wrap substitute or a shrink wrap component ends up losing appearances applied to custom surfaces. For example, if you look at this model here, I've got a reddish surface applied to the end of that cylinder and a bluish surface uh, uh, on that circle. And what I'm doing is I'm using these to help expedite the creation of BIM Revit ready content by applying custom BIM connectors to these special surfaces. It's actually part of an AU class that I'm teaching this year in AU 2020. And when I ran into this issue, I was quite perplexed, but there is a workaround I'm going to demonstrate the issue first and then I'll, I'll explain the workaround. So if we find the component here, right click on it and edit the shrink wrap assembly, and it's gonna be a little bit of a silly edit, but just bear with me. And I get rid of the main, <laughs> the main part of the assembly. So I hit okay. It will grind through that process. Of course, the shrink wrap doesn't have the part anymore, but then we'll bring it back. So for some reason I did an edit now I want to include that part, right? We look at it, it's back, we hit okay. Everything is awesome, except it actually gets rid of the custom appearances, they're gone. So no more red surface, no more little blue surface down here. So it's kind of an odd thing, but what you need to do is you need to edit the shrink wrap again. And there's a couple ways you can do this, but if you go to the create tab, you basically have to preview it. So if I preview it once, you'll see the surfaces go away. Very strange. But if I hit the preview again, it sort of forces Inventor to regenerate the design. And then when I hit OK, after it grinds away, we'll see that the finished shrink wrap part has those surfaces back. So like I said, a little bit quirky. I brought it up to Autodesk and it's something they're looking to potentially and hopefully repair in a future release. But for now, the workaround is, is what it is. And it works great. It's not a huge deal, especially once you know the solution. Now, I did not come up with this on my own. I actually want to give a huge shout out to Aaron Jarrett. He's the one that clued me into this. He could uh, find the same issue on his side and he did the preview and it worked. So I want to give credit where credit is due. Thank you. Aaron, that was awesome. And I'm putting a link to his post in the description so you can check it out and give him all kinds of kudos because he's awesome. So I hope you found this helpful. You may never run into this situation, but for those of you that do, hopefully you find this video and it helps resolve it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know and have a blessed day.